Hi Class B, this is Teacher Crystal again. Let's pray before we begin today's lesson. Dear God, thank you for the Bible and teaching us about the truth. Please help us understand these truths at a young age. Please help us listen to today's lesson so we may hear how you continue to love us and forgive us, even when we sin. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. So let's review the memory verse that is due today. It's from Exodus 24. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. Good job, Class B. And before we begin today's lesson, let's review what we learned last week. Where was Moses? He was still on top of Mount Sinai. Right? He had just received the Ten Commandments from God, but he was taking so long to come down, the people started complaining. They thought something had happened to Moses. So what did they do? That's right. They called for Aaron and asked him, Make us a new God. And so Aaron told the people to collect all the gold. They melted it, and then what did they do? That's right, they made a statue of a baby calf. They decided to make their own god, an idol to worship. But you guys, are we supposed to worship other gods and have idols? No, right? And do you think God was happy? No. Didn't God just tell them that worshiping and making idols is bad? Right. So God sent Moses down the mountain. And when Moses got down, he was so upset because he saw all the people worshiping an idol. Because he was so upset, he threw the Ten Commandments on the floor. And then what happened? The stone broke. So Moses melted the golden calf and sprinkled the powder and made all the people drink it as their punishment. And was God angry with the Israelites? Why, yes. But even though the people disobeyed, God showed mercy and forgave them because he loves them. And God helped Moses write the Ten Commandments on a new stone. And do you guys remember what else happened? That's right. God revealed his glory by passing Moses. And Moses only saw the back of God, right? Not his face. And what happened to Moses' face? It was glowing, right? Because he spoke with God and God passed by him. Moses got a glimpse of what God looked like. And God's glory was revealed. Great job, Class B. And so today we will learn about how the Israelites have a hard time remembering everything that God has done for them. And even after God continued to show love and forgive his people for sinning, they were complaining again. This time they complained about their hardships, what they went through and what they still need. You guys... God has been providing everything so far for them, right? Yes, and they're still complaining about things. So that made God very angry. And so God caused a fire to come down. And the fire burned some of the outer areas of their campsite. And fire is very hot, and fire damages things, right? And so the people cried out to Moses. And 
what do you think Moses did, you guys? Right. Moses prayed to God and asked God to please forgive the people for complaining. And then, because he prayed, the fire died out. And after the fire went out, the people started complaining again. This time, they were so tired of eating. Remember what it's called? That's right, mana. So they were eating only bread. And what happens, you guys, sometimes when you eat something over and over again for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you might get sick and tired of it, right? Like if you were to eat only apples every day or goldfish every day, would you get sick and tired of eating it? Maybe yes, but we should always be thankful to have just even anything at all. Because having something is better than having nothing, right? And so they were craving things like fish and melons and cucumbers, just like the food that they ate in Egypt. But does God like it when we complain, you guys? No. So Moses heard the people complaining again. And he asked God if he could provide meat for the people. And do you think God listened? And do you think God provided meat? Yes. God told Moses that he will provide meat, not for one day or two, and not even for five days, but a whole month, you guys. That's a long time. That's about 30 days. And then God caused a gust of wind to pass the camp. And guess what appeared, you guys? Meat. So this is quail. And God provided meat again for the people. Isn't that so amazing? And so the birds took up all the space around the campsites and the people spent all day and all night and even the next day gathering all the quail so they had meat to eat. But the people became greedy. Some were gathering all the meat while they still had meat in their hands and in their mouths. And so this caused God to become angry again. God thought they were being too greedy. And so God caused a severe plague among them. And so some of the people died. And even after God provided meat for the people, God was not happy. The people were not thankful and God saw that the people always wanted something more or something else. We should be thankful at all times, right? No matter what God provides for us, we should see everything we have as a blessing. So in the past, we have learned about Moses and his brother Aaron. But did you guys know that he had a sister? Aaron and Moses have a sister named Miriam. Can you guys say Miriam? Good job. And so Miriam and Aaron started talking badly about Moses. They spoke badly about his wife because she was not an Israelite. Aaron and Miriam also got jealous of Moses because God has only been speaking through Moses. Right? And so God heard them talk and got very angry. And so he came down in a form of a cloud and told Aaron and Miriam that he speaks through Moses, who's his prophet, and reveals himself in visions and talks to him because God chose him. And God was so angry and he left. 
but he caused leprosy on Miriam. Do you guys know what leprosy is? It's a disease that affects the color of the skin, and it's very uncomfortable. And so, Miriam's skin became white as snow. And Aaron pleaded with Moses and said, Please, can you ask God to heal her? And so Moses prayed to God and said, Please, God, heal my sister. And God said, She shall be sent outside of the camps for seven days, and then she will be healed. And so Miriam had to leave her brothers and the rest of the Israelites and stay far away from the campsite. For how many days, you guys? That's right. Seven days. And that's a long time. But after seven days, Miriam was healed. You guys, so what happens when we complain? Does God like it when his people complain? No, right? Does God like it when you are jealous and you talk badly about others? No. God becomes angry and he will punish those that complain and sin, right? So let's review what we just learned today. So God's people were complaining again, right? They were complaining about their hardships and what they'd gone through. And God was so angry, he caused what? That's right, he caused fire to come down. But Moses prayed to God, and the fire died out. But they complained again. What did they complain about this time? That's right. They were complaining because they were only and always eating just manna, right? They wanted other things like fish and melons and other things that they got to eat when they were in Egypt. And so Moses asked God if he can provide meat for the people. And so God caused a gust of wind to pass by. And guess what? What was all over their campsite, you guys? That's right, meat. God provided quail for the people. And so God provided so much meat, he provided it for how long? Do you guys remember? That's right, for 30 days. And so the people spent all day and all night gathering all the meat. But... Some of them were eating and still had meat in their mouth while they were gathering food. And that caused God to become angry because they were being very greedy with the meat. And do you guys remember what happened to them? That's right. God caused a severe plague and so some of the people died. God was so angry because they were complaining again. And you guys, who did we meet today? Do you guys remember? That's right, Miriam. Miriam is Aaron and Moses' sister. But Aaron and Miriam talked badly about Moses. First, they talked badly because Moses' wife was not an Israelite. And then the second time, they spoke badly because they were jealous that only God spoke to Moses. And so what happened, you guys? God heard this and came down in the form of a cloud. And what happened to Miriam? That's right. God caused leprosy, which made her skin white as snow. And God told her that she had to stay outside of the camp from everyone else for seven days and then she will be healed so after seven days Miriam was healed you guys does God like it when we complain 
No. So let's take these examples of what happened to the Israelites and to Miriam. And just remember to always give thanks to God. Great review, Class B. So here are our two coloring sheets for today. The first one says, Israel complains. And the second one says, God proves himself powerful and faithful. Now let's go over the memory verse for this week that is due next Sunday. It comes from Exodus 27. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Don't forget to review the memory verse and send it to me, Teacher Crystal. And now Teacher Crystal will close us in prayer. Dear God, thank you for reminding us that complaining is a sin. Please help us remember to always be thankful for what we have, for everything is a gift from you. If we ever want something more or something else, please help us reflect on the things we already have. Please help us to always speak nicely of others and not badly about our friends. Thank you again for loving us so much that you forgive us when we are being selfish. We love you and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Goodbye, Class B.